Sheer Fanatic with another badass fragrance review. Today we're going to be reviewing Oleris. Oleris was done by Robert Greco and it, the perfumer was Marc Anton Cortiacciato. I think I'm saying that wrong. But anyways, I think we all know what I mean. Uh, anyway, so Roberto Greco, I believe, is a fragrance photographer and whatnot, and he did a limited edition 500 pieces of the anti-flower fragrance. Now, that's the description inside the box. It has got a little Oleris home of sorts, as you can see. And one of the pictures that's 500 piece limited, I believe, I think that the pictures would go with the, it's almost like a, almost like a capsule. You know, you get the fragrance, the pictures and whatnot, but this one just comes with one of the pictures. And I do believe that they're all gonna be separate. But yes, the box, the presentation, that is all good and whatnot. Really sturdy, the atomizer, it is solid. Um, and whatnot, since this is limited, I'm not gonna waste the spray. <laughs> and uh, it's fairly on the expensive side. This is $200 for 50 mils. I got this on Lucky Scent, they are great. I would highly recommend going there and picking up a sample. Now, if you already have your samples, we can get to testing and whatnot. So I am wearing this right now. Right when you put this on, you immediately get hit with a skanky ass something I don't know what it is but you hit it and you almost regret putting it on because it's very very powerful it's a very dominating fragrance my skin tends to go animalic and my skin definitely loves darker very challenging fragrances this is the most challenging fragrance that I own this is more challenging than uh, Secretions Magnifique by Etat Libre de la Ange. Um, and that is considered one of the most polarizing fragrances out there. I would believe this one's worse. Also, um, you have uh, Seminalis by Orto Parisi, which is that one. Uh, we'll get to something, we'll get to that later, but I cannot, absolutely cannot, and will not wear that one ever again. There's, certain, there's challenging, to which I like, and there's challenging that'll make you literally dry heave. This is not one of those, but this is definitely a for a guy um, that just doesn't give a fuck what people think. Um, this definitely leans masculine. Um, could a woman wear this? Sure, but I would say you're probably looking at the 60 plus range if you want to be a woman trying to trying to pull this off you know this is a very very wise very sophisticated very very well thought out fragrance this is probably one of the best fragrances out there for what it is what you get the story behind it which is great i feel and uh, the longevity this lasts 12 plus hours this has a projection range from about three to four feet. Um, and the best part about this is when after about three or four hours of wearing it, it dries down and it smells completely different. Um, I've had people say that this fragrance smells absolutely horrible when I first put it on. Then five hours later, they wanna know what the hell I'm wearing. These are the same people. And so this fragrance smells completely different once you put it on five hours later, and then it dries down five hours later. So um, that alone is worth the price of admission, I feel. So I would highly recommend going to check this out. This is Oleris by Roberto Greco, and thank you for watching. And please, if you like this video or want to see more, or want any reviews on anything specific, please drop a link, uh, please drop a comment below. Don't forget, ah, don't forget to subscribe. This is, uh, you know, this is my first channel doing this, and I promise these videos will get better. I'll start doing some pretty cool editing and stuff like that, but there's only so many hours of the day. But um, hey, thank you so much for watching. Take care.